Hello and welcome to this week's episode. Today we are in Kiambu Road where we are touring this magnificent five bedroom house that is going for 85 million Kenya shilling. The house is located within a gated community that has a police station inside. So you are assured of your security. There's also an 11 aside football pitch. So your kids will have a great time. Walk with me so that you can see what this house has to offer. Follow me. Let's begin our show and behind me is the automated gate and next to it is a staff quarters, a storage area and an outdoor bathroom and the driveway continues all the way to what is actually the entry point to your property. So follow me Willis so that you can see this and as we walk you can see the purples and uh, I know I've been told there are some oranges on that side and we even saw some apples right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Welcome to this huge motor court. And I think the good thing about these plants is they start producing fruits when they're still young. Oh yeah, you <laughs> when they're so tiny. Yeah. Like this one this one is really pregnant with all this fruit. Yeah, all this and uh, before I forget Willis, while we are studying, there's a water tank with a storage of about 50,000 liters, which is a lot, yeah? That, that's a lot, for yeah, yeah. one house? For one house. Yeah, I'd that's say. a lot. So you have more than enough water storage, and uh, here you have your carport that can you know cover two cars, and you can do six, seven cars here comfortably. Yeah. And again, from this angle, we can see the house facade. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the beauty about this house because we're actually at the back, yeah. but this is actually your front. Yeah, the back is actually the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you go to the other side, you st it can still pass as the front. Yeah. yeah. I like um, this cladding that is so neatly done, yeah. and also the lighting fixture. And on this side, we have a laundry area, the staff court, another staff quarter, and a guest bedroom that you can access from outside. So follow me inside so that you can see what the house has to offer. And uh, this door is open, but I want to pull it so that guys can see. Uh, first of all, this area is well covered. The door, it's all solid mahogany, and you're going to see a lot of woodwork in this house. So follow me inside. Uh, like I said, a lot of woodwork. So the floor is all wooden, as you can see. And welcome to your grad foyer, which is really huge. And there's this huge chandelier that uh, Willis is very much in love with. Yeah, I think um, <laughs> there's a house we, we checked in Karen, yeah. and it had almost the same layout for in, at the foyer. Yeah. And I, I mentioned that we, I should have something like a chandelier like this, and oh, yeah. this specifically went with that chandelier that I was thinking about. Yes, they did. Yeah. And uh, there's a window there bringing in tons of natural lighting. Yes. And uh, again, your staircase, wood and steel. And we are going to see that area later yeah. on. And this area opens up to your what I'll call the great room, or some we call the living room. And I like the simplicity in this room, yeah? Yeah. So the ceiling is gypsum, but notice how it's so, you know. Subtle. Subtle, yeah? Yeah. Jeep, this is really yeah. well done, and the lighting fixture again yeah. is also subtle, but you can notice it. Yep. And there's a fireplace on this side. So we're in Kiambu County, and Kiambu gets a, bit, a little bit cold, so it's good to have a fire, fireplace in your house, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, again, the cladding that we saw outside, they brought it inside. Willis. Yes. I have noticed one of the things that I love with this house, they, are, they have kept the TVs at the bare minimum. Exactly. <laughs> only only the family room has, has a, TV. a TV. Yeah. Yeah. Every other space, though you have that uh, provision, it's not really there. Yeah. And again, you have uh, the wall sconces there, a lot of lighting coming in from the windows. Mm -hmm. And uh, also like this uh, separation that uh, this fixture that creates privacy yeah? Yeah. between this area and uh, that lounge. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And we are going to see it later on. And look at the lighting. Down lighters yeah, from yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Really well lit. Yeah. And can we take a minute to appreciate the wooden floors? Your, oh, the craftsmanships of the wooden yeah. floor. Yeah. Amazing. Like this. we just walked in and that's the first thing I noticed. Exactly. 
and uh, even the framing on the doors it's really beautiful and neatly done yes. on this side we have one bedroom one of the it's a five bedroom remember so one of the bedrooms is here all bedrooms are in suit and one thing i like is this uh in wardrobes especially the matte finish huh? yeah it's really beautiful and wow i like the chest they went with a big window there to bring in terms of natural lighting and there's a bathroom here uh, again i should say that the owner of this house stays in this house so you're going to see that uh well it's not a staged house yeah yeah it's actually it's practically new yeah, yeah this is how they live so yeah there's bugs there's uh hard bugs and everything so you're going to see that a lot yeah mm -hmm. so on this other side as i had mentioned is a small lounge space i'm in love with this space i think if i was to stay in this house this would be my favorite area and again i like the simple furnitures that they went with here there's a tv and i like uh, the fact that it's sunken and yeah. also the living room is also sunken oh yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know i forgot to mention that, that <laughs> both of them are sunken yeah and uh in, there's two space yeah so it doesn't feel like uh compressed in any way true yeah yeah and uh going forward a is the your outdoor garden space and uh even before we go that we have this covered area that forms sort of a pagoda yeah. and um, there's even a fireplace on that yeah, side yeah 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 so again we're in kiambu county and if you want to use this space at night it makes sense to have a fireplace right yeah yeah so having this fireplace is is such an adva added advantage and uh it's one of the things i noticed when we walked in and yeah. it is one of my favorite parts about this house yeah and like mze of the house like to say there's a cooler kitu yako as you're chilling, as you're chilling yeah. here and watching who is coming <laughs> into your property yeah and again you have this pagoda as he was telling us you can hang flowers here yep. and can you imagine how it would look with those uh dripping flowers i think that's a very decent idea it is yeah. it is for sure and uh moving on to her will is ace is another favorite part of this house which is the grounds yeah and uh it is very well manicured willis yep correct me if i'm wrong mm -hmm. but i don't think we have seen better manicured gardens than this one i don't think we have seen any oh, even yeah. in zanzibar it wasn't well manicured as this one <laughs> <laughs> and that was a top million dollar house yeah so this is not even a one million dollar house but look at the look at that look at the it feels like uh, i'm going to remove my shoes so that people oh, can understand i don't have my shoes on so i know how it feels you know how yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this feels like a carpet and actually so i think uh, i think if i was to I yeah. would fit a pool there yeah. you see like at the end of it a lap pool would be a yeah. very good addition here exactly and then you have your grounds to just walk on and enjoy yourself yes and uh, the sun is on my face so i'm imagining in the evenings the what the sun will be hitting the pool yeah and again the fruits we talked about yeah you can see there's so many of them mm -hmm. all around the all house. around the garden yeah yeah, yeah. even apples there's a apple that i'm going to eat there <laughs> yeah <laughs> the house is beautiful the face of the house from yeah. the back and yeah. the front yeah like they all look nice it is unbelievable okay. yeah. that this house is going for 85 million Kenyan shilling follow me inside <laughs> so that we can check out uh the rest of the spaces yeah and uh here again i like this covered area if i was to live in this house i'll probably do a pagoda extended there yeah so that you can chill with drinks as we swim and mm -hmm. uh welcome to your dining area and again this area is spacious and my goodness yes yeah. i have to say that when i saw the outdoor photo of this house mm -hmm. i did not expect to find as much as i have found yeah but now i'm um, i'm really I'm overwhelmed to say the least. Yeah, and I like how they marry like from the living room yeah. to the lounge yeah. to the dining room. I think what you're trying to say that it encourages that open living yeah. that you can have conversations uh with people in the dining where you're still in the living exactly. room. Exactly. And uh even when you're in the lounge, lounge. space, yeah. Yeah, you can still have conversations with people who are in the dining. Yeah. So that's a good space, good use of space, yeah. Mm -hmm. And on this side we have a door that uh leads to the powder room. We haven't checked this area out. There's a yeah. sink there. I wanted to set up and like I said, this house is being used by the owner. So, you know, you're going to see the house in its actual form. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And As if you are living in. Yeah, yeah. And this is a powder room. Again, very spacious. They went uh, with a wooden floor. And I guess this is this is one of the few powder rooms that I have seen with a wooden floor. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But it makes sense because it's not a bathroom. 
Yeah, it's not a bathroom. Yeah, like yeah. it doesn't it won't get too easily. Yeah. And welcome to the kitchen space. Again, this is an open kitchen. So when you're here, you can still have conversations with people in the dining area. And uh, it has an island that is functional because of this sink. Yeah. Uh, for those people who might not know, we were we were told that this sink is used to wash your vegetables, vegetables when you're yeah. cooking or your fruits. Yeah? Yeah. And again, we have uh, your space for your cooker, yeah. uh, a six burner for that matter. Mm -hmm. There's a hood extract, uh, smoke extractor there. And uh, your counters are well done. Yeah. yeah, I feel like there's enough space. Yeah. Uh, I love uh, this the, the choices of colors that they went with. Yeah? And that is your space for your fridge. Mm -hmm. And again, I keep forgetting to talk about the lighting in this house, but the lighting fixtures are really cool, like that uh, lighting fixture where you have a section where you can put a bar. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. the breakfast bar. Yeah, you can have a breakfast bar here. Look at the lighting, guys. It's really nice. It's nice. And the wooden framing. Again, the light is this truck, truck lighting, lights, yeah. yeah. It's really nice. And on this side, you have a double sink. So, guys, I haven't forgotten double sinks. So, <laughs> this is a good addition. And I like that they went to the uh, double sink setup. And uh, on this side, you have a pantry. And yeah. there are so many avocados. I'm going to borrow avocados here. <laughs> yeah, you have so many avocados. Yeah, it's yeah. only right to go home with one. Oh, or two. yes, you have to. <laughs> and uh, here again, you have a door that leads to your backyard. Yeah. And this A is the guest bedroom that we were talking about earlier on. This guest bedroom can be accessed without coming through the house. Yeah. yeah. So you can actually cross off this area like that. Lock it and your guest will just use this door. So this is good for privacy, especially if you're hosting parents. Yeah. Uh, you're hosting someone who you still want to give them some, you know, privacy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Again, here, as you have been saying, you should not be putting gas cylinders inside the house. Inside the house, so yeah. this is good. And uh, this area opens up to your front yard. Yeah. 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 I, I really wish... I really wish they, they never built a separation yes, for that. Yes. They would love it opens It's to one of the things in. I noticed when I walked in. Yeah. And I hope the person who is going to buy this magnificent home yeah. is actually going to do away with this. Yeah. And and where this maybe this is the point where I should say if you if you notice, and I hope our viewer you can show this to our viewers, mm -hmm. this wall is huge. It is, it is very high. Because this was a very slanting a slanted plot yeah but the owner sort of tried to level it that is why you have those grouds in that uh it's amazing yeah so you can imagine the, the kind of work in landscaping yeah yeah to to achieve that yeah that, sometimes people will ask why why is he selling that uh property at that price mm. but if you are to come and buy into this property back then yeah <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. this would have been a lot of work. Yeah, it would have been a lot of work. So you have to recognize and appreciate the work that has been done. Yeah, and this is uh, this is all the you know testimony you need. Like mm -hmm. the size of this wall should tell you the kind of work that has been done there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Again, uh, this area proceeds to your laundry area that I had mentioned about and the staff quarters, and this leads to your motor coat. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one thing I just noticed really is. There's another fireplace here mm -hmm. because what's better than one? Ah, uh, 99. <laughs> <laughs> so we have lots of fireplaces in this house. Yeah. You can boil uh, I think maybe, uh, cereals uh, at this point. Yeah, I think maybe they should have, you know, those uh, pizza oh, oven that like is... Oh, ex, 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 yeah. That would be a good addition. That would be a good addition. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hope the person who buys this house is as creative as, you know. As, uh, yeah. as I am. And you can even do barbecues. In fact, there's a... Yeah. You have that barbecue thing there. Okay. That we didn't have on Sunday. So mm -hmm. we ended up buying the nyamachoma that we had. It the only problem is we don't have a grill. Donate grills. Yeah, donate grills. <laughs> Please send them pesos. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So this is an area that you can do the uh, pizza oven, barbecues. Yeah. It's a good addition. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go back into the house so that we can check out the second floor. Back to the lovely foyer. So the sun is heating us really nice. Yeah. And uh, let's take the stairs so that we can check out what the second floor has to offer. Mm -hmm. So these stairs, one thing, they're very wide. Yeah. Yeah. So even moving things is easy. And I uh, like the woodwork again. I don't know how many times I've said woodwork. We saw this window mm -hmm. in a house in Karen. Yeah. And we had a big fight, uh, not a fight really, but we, we, we had a big fight with the developer because it was badly done. Ah, uh, yes. And that house was expensive. Yeah. But look at this. It runs all the way down and the provision for even your cutting is so neat. Mm. You can tell that these people are not second guessing what they were doing. Yeah. They actually knew what they were what doing. What they were doing, exactly. Like they fitted in the grills 
and there was still space for the curtains mm -hmm. and the woodwork again. I have to move this for guys to see. That's amazing. I know some people take things for granted and as Willis was saying earlier, a lot of times people have the idea but the execution is poor. Yeah. But the execution in this house is it's really well good. executed. And this is also why I give it to the developer because these paints mm -hmm. are not your ordinary 3mm. Yeah. The 6mm. 6mm, yeah. As you take the stairs, you notice this woodwork uh, partitioning that creates privacy. And again, from your uh, landing, you walk straight into your living room. And before I talk about the living room, let me talk about this part because you get to appreciate the foyer and the double ceiling height. Yeah. And that uh, makes it possible for you to have such a huge chandelier. On our last video, someone was happy that we did a short video. Yeah. But as I told them, it's because that house had nothing to talk about. <laughs> this house a lot, has a lot has a to lot. talk about. Yeah. And therefore, I'll bear with us. Yeah. Welcome to the living room. They went uh, with uh, these recliners. As we learned from Azanzi Batua, they're very comfortable. Yeah, they are very comfortable. TV, yeah? I so, never used to be a fan of recliners. Me too. But, yeah. I never used to be a fan of recliners until we yeah. bumped on the Zanzi balance. Yeah. yeah. And again, from here, you can enjoy your TV and uh, you have uh, this cladding that I believe covers, you know, that uh, your, your yeah. chimney. I think, yeah, I think that's the chimney yeah. from the living yeah, room. Yeah, from the way. living room, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and here they have a table where maybe the kids can use to do group studies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we have seen a couple of them here. So yeah. they, they, they do. They, they really value education. The, the education. Yeah. And really so, so mesmerized by this. Uh, yeah, it is, it is a really <laughs> nice piece, yeah. 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 I think it's the ball around it. Look at the shadow it's casting on the Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So at night that will really look nice. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I feel bad that I'm wearing shoes because I, I would want to step on these floors. The floors. They are really nice. This time you have to be envious of me. <laughs> I don't have shoes. <laughs> I know. And behind me is, yeah. is a very big uh, balcony. Um, and uh, this this is a very nice space where you can chill out in the evenings and uh, have a good time yeah yeah and uh, again extends all the way to that side and uh wow spacious enough yeah yeah and yeah. i think that's the pagola you were that's talking the about pagola that i was talking about yeah. when we were the downstairs yeah and uh yeah yeah one thing i've noticed is these locks really mm -hmm. i don't know whether you can get a shot of this later on yeah but the locks uh, has a like a four four locking system yeah and, yeah I noticed as we were opening these doors, and the doors are, this is heavy duty steel, so good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck to anyone trying to break through that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is why I mentioned that inside this place, there's a police post. Oh yes, inside there's this, a police yeah, post. Yeah, there's a police yeah. post in this Inside the estate, yeah. <laughs> so the security is superb. Yeah. Yeah. So on this side, you have a shoe rack that Ray was uh, impressed with. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, who did this and for you? Th this this was good woodwork, yeah. you know, like you, you wouldn't think and that that's a shoe rack. And it blends with the floors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the door as well. This door opens to a storage area. So this is where they have their solar connection. I uh, should also make sure that this house, uh, the water is fully heated by solar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, on this other side, we have a bedroom that is uh, facing your gate side and uh, it's uh, fully and soot. There's a bathroom there. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, it has a balcony. We actually saw this balcony when you're outside. So there you go. Very spacious. Mm. Yeah, and Gets it overlooks nice your ground. So if yeah. you had a pool, uh, that would be... <laughs> just looking at people swim, man. Yeah. Taking a swim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a lovely... It's mm. a lovely house. It and, is. And the wardrobe's actually big. I don't know whether I mentioned the size. And uh, this is the bathroom that I was talking about. And yeah, let's proceed and check out the other bedroom quickly. So for those counting, this is bedroom number? Three. Number four. Number four. Including the guest Ooh. bedroom. Oh, including the guest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. A lot of natural light coming in. 
yeah that's because the sun is on our back yeah and uh, here is the bathroom space again even this bathroom gets a lot of natural lighting mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice space and the vanities are also really cool yeah so do you reckon that they should have uh, done a door there like so that a, this bedroom can use yeah. that as a balcony that would have been nice yeah actually because it would connect with that courtyard that yeah. you're going to yeah but uh well you can do the addition yourself yourself you yeah? yeah yeah <laughs> so on this yeah. side when you own this house like you can do anything with it as willis was mentioning you have this rooftop space yeah, it's a terrace yeah yeah this terrace that stands on your staff quarters and the guest bedroom yeah mm -hmm. and it's very spacious it's big wraps all the way to that other side yeah they have a sink provision here and uh well they even have sockets mm -hmm. so the barbecues will be lit here yeah the oh share will share will share yeah all the chilled on sunday yeah as and well, uh, one thing i want to mention is that you can see your huge entrance porch from here yeah and it actually looks very beautiful especially with those lights on i like I'll, how it have cantilevered yeah and uh gives you that uh it's hard to accept that this is not a flat roof house yeah it's very hard to say you know it it's a low like pitch yeah it's a yeah, yeah it's a low yeah, pitch yeah. they but really it, hit the uh, but instead and i'm sorry to make this comparison yeah but i prefer this kind of uh hidden roofing yeah in rather than have that yeah <laughs> you, so decided, you decided to feature the neighbor if, as well if, in if the you're journey. watching this show <laughs> i mean no offense man i'm sorry <laughs> so another thing that i've just noticed the lightings in this space yeah. the compound yeah yeah I, I did not talk about that earlier on yeah but all these are solar powered lighting yeah they're all the solar compound. powered yeah yeah. yeah yeah and you have neighbors who keep cows so that they told us that is where they buy their fresh yeah milk. they actually get some milk from there you know <laughs> this is what i like about kiambu it's like yeah. you're so close to you know town uh -huh. but you're also in shags yeah so if you're about that vibe yeah sh this, shags living in town this is your place to be <laughs> yeah and uh the owner of this house has been so gracious to allow us to see the primary bedroom yeah. so follow me guys the primary bedroom occupies this wing of the house and i like that it gets all this wing mm -hmm. and uh wow look at your primary bedroom space it's very big it makes this bed look so small. very small and it's a big <laughs> it's a big bed it's a big bed yeah. but it looks so small i like the windows on both sides and uh that door that leads to your yeah. you know balcony space we saw this balcony when you were at the family room mm -hmm. so welcome to the balcony space this is the pagola that we saw when you are uh on the grounds yep and it's front facing so you get to enjoy and see who is coming into your house you know yeah you get a good uh, view of your house one thing you didn't notice and i know you're a fan of yeah it's uh you see the curtain works oh my goodness <laughs> yeah and if i make this comparison allow me guys so you remember the house we visited a few weeks ago in kiambu road yeah that uh, we did a sh small short video mm -hmm. that you couldn't move the curtains yeah but since this is a very spacious uh, curtain box you can move your net your your, your, your curtains yeah, yeah freely yeah yeah freely yeah. so i like this and that's a good point to note yeah yeah so welcome to the closet space again you get uh natural lighting yeah. coming in and uh that for me this is always a big uh, advantage if yeah. you can get natural lighting to your dressing area mm -hmm. because it means you can clearly see how you're going to look when you're out there yeah. and they have a big dressing mirror and table here mm -hmm. again i feel like this is an area that you can tailor make to your own taste yeah. you can even do like a small island here if you wanted to just store yeah. your jewelry and you know yeah. watches and so on yeah and yeah. there's also a mirror there like and a full a mirror. mirror here so this is what you would call a walking closet guys huh? yeah. perfect walking closet yep and uh here is the primary bedroom bathroom and it's very good size and I have to give it because of all the natural lighting that is coming in mm -hmm. um, I can say that this house is only one year not even one year old a, a few months nine months old yeah yeah it's nine months old and uh, you can still see that it's pristine it's in good condition mm -hmm. despite the fact that there are people living in it so yeah. it's a good house and you have your your cubicle shower there and uh, your water closet there's a double vanity here and uh, here you have your tub that uh, has all these jets yeah mm. yeah really cool 
Yeah, yeah, really cool. Really I cool. wish I could get inside it, but let's respect the owners. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love uh, how this these windows don't go all the way down. I yeah. really like it, but they, they bring in tons of natural lighting. I think yeah. it's where the house is located, so it's getting yeah. the sun is hitting it from all angles. In terms of uh, windows placement and yeah. how the house correlates to the sun, yeah. they really did a good job. Yeah, you can see that there was good thought mm. and there was also good execution. Yeah, and uh, with that. I would uh, like to say that uh, we are honored to have toured this house. Mm -hmm. And listen, can you feel the breeze? Yeah, I can feel the breeze coming in. Man, it's now so imagine cool. having both of those doors open. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> you can actually have this. Yeah, yeah. You can have it opened all the way to that side. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Kiambu Road is, has always been one of my favorite places. Yeah. I lived here around this area for about one and a half years. Mm -hmm. And I know I'll. I have to return, especially within this area, because of all these trees, you get a lot of nature. And um, wow, that's the football pitch, guys. Yeah. So if you have kids, they would really enjoy this. It's actually a 11-11 football pitch. I mean, guys, this is a deal for 85 million Kenya shilling. I feel that it's one of the fairest priced houses, especially if you consider. In fact, Willis, I'm sure from the drone that shot, they can see how the neighbor's crowd is slanting so yeah. imagine this was slanted more than that because that is on the upper side yeah mm -hmm. so you can actually get to appreciate the amount of work that has been done here in terms of landscaping and even the house is really neatly done and one thing i've always told people when you buy into a house that uh it is the developer who is staying in it yeah you always get a good deal Yes, yeah, yeah. definitely. And I, I think for me, if I'm looking to get a house, I'll definitely get one that uh, the owner is looking to to sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a good deal, and I hope uh, one of our viewers is going to snatch it off the market. So if you're interested, just give Bray a call, and he's going to tell you how you can come see this house. Thank you very much for watching. It's our pleasure to have you. And uh, my name is Mark Mansell. Behind the camera is Willis. See you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs>